So I wanted to do another wood turning project and I, I got this um, kit project. It's called a pickup pin assembly kit. And um, it, well, I'm sure you've seen these before, right? They have this little magnet at the end and they telescope out and it's great. And if you drop a nut or a bolt or a screw or something, you uh, like behind a cabinet or a workbench, um, you can use it to reach behind there and pick it up for you. So uh, it is, it's a great little project. You can do it in just um, probably an hour and maybe a couple hours. Um, so it is, check out the video. Oh, and you know, before, actually, before I get to that, I wanted to point out about the, the finish that I'm using. I'm actually, I actually finished this with a product called Tripoli Ultra Shine. Um, but you know, I got to meet this woodworker, uh, Barry Gibb, and he, no, not Barry Gibb, Barry Williams. It, oh my gosh, uh, not Barry Williams. Uh, he was the BG. No, no, Barry Gibb was the BG. Barry Williams was Greg Brady. Barry Gross. Let me look real fast. Barry Gross. The man's name was Barry Gross, and he is a fantastic woodworker. Really? Go check him out on Google. And he's written a couple of books on uh, pin turning and uh, just turning in general. Anyways, he... I got to talk to him for just a couple minutes at a woodworking show, and he, he did this whole presentation. He turned a pen, and um, he uses CA glue for all of his finish. And so I asked him about, you know, what he thought about some of the wax finishes. And, you know, he makes a really good point, right? You know, wax, at some point, it's going to fail. It might be a year from now. It might be six months from now. But but point is, is it's going to fail, right? So he uses the CA glue stuff. And, yeah, I didn't even know that that was such a common thing um, that wood turners used, right? So, anyways, I, I just wanted to make that point. Because I think going forward, I may try to switch over to the CA glue stuff. I haven't, I haven't actually tried it yet. I just picked some up. Um, kind of a, a little you know, package kit to try. Um, so anyways, I'm going to try that at, at some point going forward. Uh, although I keep thinking in the back of my mind, it's like I'm converting it from wood to plastic or, or acrylic or something. I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm, I'm going to try that at some point, but, um, anyways, if you like, <laughs> sorry, Barry, um, all three berries. Sorry, I got your names wrong. Um, anyways, if you like this video, uh, make sure you hit uh, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, I have new videos out there from time to time. And as always, you can check out my website at woodlogger.com where I've got more pictures and detailed information about this project as well as other products. Not products. Projects. Boy, I'm having a rough time. Other projects going on in my shop. Okay, so I've got my pin blank all ready. Um, I've drilled it out and I've got my brass tube that I've, I've got. It's ready to go in as well. So next up, I need to just mar this up a little bit. And what this does is it just it puts a, kind of some grooves on the, on, the, on the brass blank so that it gives the uh, CA glue something to hold on to. So, yeah, I don't know how well you can see that or not, but it's fairly marred up. Um, so next up, I just have my CA glue put on there. And this stuff works really fast. So what I do is I just kind of work it in. So I've got my glue on here. I just need to let that dry up. And uh, when it's all dry, I'll be ready to load it on my mandrel and turn it. So I've got my pin blank. It's all dry now. The, um, the little brass fitting inside is, is not going anywhere. Now I'm ready to load up my mandrel. And I've got these special bushings um, that are made just for this, this particular kit. And uh, I'll, I'll put links for all this stuff um, out on my website at woodlogger.com if you want to check it out. Anyways, the, the bushing goes here, put this, it kind of fits right into with it. And you put the other one on the other side. And now I'm ready to uh, put this on my uh, lathe. And uh, I also got a, I've got this new toy I really like. It's called a mandrel saver. And um, it, what's nice about it is you, you don't have to have the little stop collar at the end. And then uh, a lot of times you have to put kind of like a spacer here. It's great. You just kind of slide this right into your, um, 
to your mandrel saver and tighten it up and it's ready to go. That's all there is. And so um, it, it's nice. It, it's enough. I'll try and put a link for this too on my website if I can find it. Um, I forget where I got. I think I got that on Amazon. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. But anyways, it, it's a great tool. So check that one out too. Uh, but yeah, I'm ready to uh, go ahead and turn this on the lathe now. So I wanted to take one more second to point out the guide bushings because I didn't really talk a whole lot about them. There's um, two of them. There's one here and one here. And that's really common with a lot of these kind of turning kits. And you usually have to buy them separate and it's just more money. But, but they really are handy. They kind of hold everything in place. And then um, just like the, the term guide, right? It, it gives you a guide to know how deep to go when you make your cut. So I know that I'm not going to go any deeper in thickness than this guide bushing. So anyways, I just wanted to point that out because I didn't really talk about that. And another thing too, um, I'll, I'll only be using two tools. I could just use one, but uh, I like to use a bowl gouge to kind of get most of the, the wood kind of chipped away um, kind of quicker. And then I'll, I'll switch over to a skew. Okay, so I've got my blank all turned up next. I'm going to sand it and I'm going to use uh, sandpaper. I'm going to use grits 150 all the way up to 600 and then I'll wax it with some Triple E Ultra Shine. So I've got my pin blank and I think it turned out pretty well. Next up is the assembly. And so what I've got here is I've got this little cap that this slides into. And then you just kind of insert it here. And that makes it kind of one piece. I'll have to press it together. And then on the other end, you've got another cap that it kind of slides into. And there's a little hole there. And that's nice because the cap is actually a screw and it just kind of screws together. So eventually this will be all one piece, but uh, I'm gonna use a, a pin press to, for the final assembly of that, and I'll do a close up here in just a second and show you kind of how I, how I finish this off. So I'm gonna use my pin press. It makes it a lot easier when you're doing these, these type of assemblies. Got my bottom cap, I'm gonna put it right there. That, flip over as many as you can. I can only do one. I've got that piece together. Now I flip it over to the other side. Ready to do this piece. In this case, I can't actually flip any. Okay. Now I just insert that. This little Oops. I'm not sure I want to keep that, but 
does come with the kit. Okay, well I've got my pickup pin all assembled and it actually works. So anyways, if you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe um, on YouTube for uh, so you can see more videos like this one and others that I've got going on in my shop. Oh, and as always, check out my website at woodlogger.com. Um, I always put more detailed information, pictures, and um, some links of where I got stuff um, on my website. So I'll see you around.